You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. Let's talk about your week in Mobile. Um, look, getting to go home had to be pretty cool. How did you think it went? What were your expectations going in and how did it go? You know, yeah, I just want to go down there and just showcase my ability. Not only just showing them I can start the run, but the rest of the pass is well on third down. Just show them I can play every down defensive line. Uh, you were honored with uh, the best on your team as the defensive lineman of the week on the American squad. Uh Ed Ingram and Damone Clark got those honors as well at their respective positions. Man, um, what was your reaction when you learned you had gotten that honor? You know, man, I was excited. Man. I knew I went down there day one to just work harder, show my physical physicality. It was just amazing to get that award. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about what's ahead for you. Uh, I, look, I mean, dra everyone's got a draft analysis, you know, and, and mock this or that, whatever. So Todd McShay today. He's got you where he didn't have you all year in the top 10 defensive lineman in his most recent update post-Senior Bowl. He's got you as the fifth best defensive lineman in this draft. Why do you think all of a sudden, I shouldn't say all of a sudden, but why are people starting to figure it out with you as they go through these evaluations? You know, man, I just, just continue to work hard, man. I've been working my butt off since the last game of the season. I just knew I was going to come down here in the scene bowl and just wake, wake a lot of people up. You know, I've been... I've been counting out a bunch of time, but I just kept my head up and worked hard, and now I started the show. Uh, Neil Farrell is our guest. Um, he's on Twitter at Real Spilt Neil. Y'all can go give him a follow. You know, I follow you on Twitter, and, man, you have been – I don't want to say, like, on this sort of, like, rampage, but you've been pointing out on social media how, like, the the type of job you did and and the respect that you're trying to gain right now – but you almost didn't play this season. Let's go through that a little bit. How you made the decision to come back. Like, Walk me through what that was like, Neil, to make the decision to come back and play another season in Baton Rouge. You know, man, I knew last year, man, the season ain't go how I wanted to go. You know, I knew I had more entertainment than what I put out there. So I just sat down with my family, you know, gave it a talk to God. He said, he wanted me to come back another year, and I'm glad I did. What specific, how close were you, by the way? How close were you to, to leaving after the 2020 season? You know, man, I, I, I was close, but I had it in the back of my mind I was going to come back. I knew, I just knew that wasn't the type of season I was supposed to have, and I knew I was capable of playing at a high level, so I just had to give it one more shot. What specifically do you feel like in your game you needed to work the most on? This polish of my pad you know, everybody pretty much know I'm a dominant run stop, but just being able to, Polish up the pass rush and get that better and be able to get to the quarterback, affect the quarterback just as important as a set. So being able to do that is a blessing. Mm. You know, I'm I'm looking uh on your Twitter timeline, like the pro football focus draft uh account has it right there. Neil Farrell led all power five interior defenders with an eighty nine point nine run defense grade in twenty twenty one. Do you feel like you are the best defensive lineman in this draft? I'm most definitely feel like that, man. I'm confident in saying that. Like, you got to have the film and you got to have the stats to back it up. And I feel like I got that and I proved myself this year. Well, you've also been on a team with guys like Rashard Lawrence and guys who, who are playing and starting in the NFL. Do, like, did you, like, do you talk to those guys at all about their NFL experience that's made you more confident? Yeah, you know, I talk to Rashard, Brady, Hoko. I talk to them guys every day of the week. You know, they always tell me just go out there, work hard, and be myself. And they just say the NFL easy transition because the school we come from, LSU, and we work hard, propel hard for moments like this. Uh, Neil Farrell Jr. is with us for a couple more minutes. I saw you also tweeted this out, man, that your high school had uh, had Neil Farrell Jr. Day. What was that like, man, to have that, that honor from your high school? Yeah, you know, it was a blessing. I was so excited to be there. I see my, all my old teachers, old coaches. Old friends just come out there and support, man. That was an honor to receive that first today. Hey, man. So being from Mobile for the game last weekend, like was there the, like a giant contingent family, friends, and all at the game uh, cheering you on? Yeah, I seen a bunch of a whole bunch of nine two jerseys in the back of the end zone, <laughs> and when we got close to the red zone, I heard them scream my name. So I knew that was a family. So it was a special blessing to see. I love it, man. Um, what's next in this process right now for you? So Senior Bowl. Combine's coming up in a few weeks. So what's what's this process like for you starting now? 
you know, just getting back to Florida, just working hard every day, getting ready for this combine, working on my forty, get still improving, get my weight down, and just getting ready for the combine, really. So you're you're training in Florida. Uh, what's your weight right now, and what are you trying to get down to? I'm at about three thirty eight. So for the combine, I want to be about three twenty five. Is is that what teams have told you they want you to to be at, or is that just like your personal target? Not just my personal target. You know, I tell I've been telling the teams I'm comfortable playing at around three twenty five, three thirty range, but three twenty five I want to be, and I'm gonna get there. Did you have um? So I mean, what was the most important part of Senior Bowl week? What was it? Was it the practices? Was it the games? The interviews? What would you say was the for you coming out of it now was the most important? I feel like everything was important, but. I went in the mindset I was going to dominate practice every day, and that's what I felt like I did. I had a mindset down there to come down on day one, just showing everybody what I'm capable of, and I feel like I proved that last week. So Combine's coming up. Uh, you'll look ahead to, to what's next in your career, but you also have the opportunity now to look back during your time at LSU. And, man, you saw the high highs and low lows. You were part of the 2019 championship season, also part of the COVID season, the last two years what didn't go great. When you kind of look at your LSU career in total, how do you how do you sum it up? You know, just just really a roller coaster. You know, I had my ups, I had my downs, but at the end of the day, I don't regret. I don't regret a moment. Of, you know, we had to work hard to get what we got, and just continue just grinding. Um, have you got a chance to meet Brian Kelly or any of the new staff? I ain't met Brian Kelly yet, but I hear I hear he's a great coach, and they love him over there. Yeah, man. Um, what can you tell us about the guys that are back on the defensive line for LSU for next year? You know, you're gonna have a special unit on that defensive line. You know. We rotated every every few series this year. Them boys, heck of a players. I can't wait to see them. Who who do you think are the guys that we really are going to see pop next year with you and with Glenn moving on to the next level? You definitely going to see BJ Ozilari and um, Ali Gay. And inside you going to see Jacobin Guillory, Mason Smith, Jaqueline Roy. All of them boys can go in and dominate. Well, they certainly got a lot of numbers and uh, looking to see uh, Tiger football restore that standard. A big part of obviously bringing a championship to LSU in 2019. A lot of people are cheering for you as you move on to the next phase. Hey, congrats on a great week in Mobile. Uh, we'll look forward to the combine, seeing you shine there and uh, and as the draft gets closer. Thanks for taking a couple of minutes, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.